Niko na story. Na sio story ya jaba. This Madaraka Day falls on Thursday. Niko na story. Na sio story ya jaba. This Madaraka Day falls on Thursday. That means no work on Thursday, but you have work on Friday, no work on Saturday, and no work on Sunday. What if we were to propose this Friday, we were to tell the government, make it a holiday, so that we can have four days straight. What if? Somebody would say, why didn't you say this earlier? I have a better idea. This is December. Jamuhuri Day falls on a Tuesday. So assuming again you are in Kisumu, and I'm just using Kisumu as an example, nothing fishy, okay? On Saturday you're in Kisumu with your family and beloved ones. Sunday you're in Kisumu, but you have to come to work on Monday. Then go back on Tuesday. I mean, again, it's not viable. So what if we tell the government to make also Monday a public holiday? A public holiday. Ladies and gentlemen, I just introduced to you my amendment bill, public holidays amendment bill, that says where a public holiday falls on a Tuesday, the preceding day, which is always a Monday, also becomes a public holiday. And two, when a public holiday falls on a Thursday, the succeeding day, which is a Friday, also becomes a public holiday. Ladies and gentlemen, that is holiday economics. And if this law was effective from January 2023, this year alone could have only affected three days. You could have only gotten a day extra of Madaraka Day because it happens on Thursday, so you get a Friday, just one. And also the Huduma Day, which is 10th of October, and also the Huduma Day, which is 10th of October, which happens on Tuesday, then you can have Monday, that is two. And also Jamuhuri Day, which happens to be on Tuesday, so you get Monday. So only three days. But just imagine the economic value that would bring. When I thought about it, I thought it was just an original idea, only to do my research and find some countries like Philippines do exactly that. What is the reasoning? behind holiday economics. One, it is to provide workers with the ample time to rest, to recharge and prioritize their well-being both physically and mentally. It allows for quality time with loved ones, celebration of tradition and events, and the opportunity for travel and tourism. So, extending public holidays support economic growth, support economic growth and promotes domestic tourism by encouraging longer trips and visits to new destinations, benefiting the hospitality and tourism industries. That's why I request you to request your member of parliament to support my amendment bill. Request your senator to support my amendment bill that says if a holiday falls on a Tuesday, the preceding day, which is a Monday, also becomes a public holiday. If a holiday falls on a Thursday, the succeeding day, which is a Friday, becomes a public holiday. That is holiday economics. My name is Karungo Wathangwa, the Miracle Senator for Kiambu County, and I do support this amendment bill.